Welcome, everybody. Picture with me today Jesus sitting with his closest friends, his disciples, in the upper room the night before he's crucified. He's celebrating with them the Passover. He's washed their feet in a demonstration of humble service to them. And then he says these words to them. This is in John 13, verse 34. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, just as I have loved you, you also must love one another. We know that God is love. The scripture tells us that, that love has a great deal to do with everything that Jesus Christ came into the world to accomplish. And here in just a few words, he's summing it all up for them, that he has come to show them love, love like no one else was ever able to show them. And now he is calling on them to love people in ways that perhaps they've never imagined. That's how it was for Jesus. It was hard to imagine the kind of way in which he would show love to this world and to his disciples. Just a few hours after he speaks these things, he goes to the cross. And though his disciples didn't understand it at the time, he did that as an act of extreme love, of love that was not just for them, but for all people of all times. Jesus, in dying for us, paid for the sin of the world, paid for my sin, your sin, so that we could be free, we could be forgiven, we could have eternal life. It was all about love. We see in bigger and in smaller ways, too, that Jesus' ministry is precisely that. It was about doing for other people, about bringing good to them, providing for them, setting them free, encouraging them. And now God calls us to do the very same kind of thing. We don't need to go and die for the sin of the world. Jesus has already done that. But he does call us to lay down our lives in big and in small ways, day by day, as we live our lives here in this world. That means that's going to require something of us. It will come at a cost. It will not always be easy. But it will be doing what Christ himself has called us to do. And we do that gladly, although it's not an easy thing, but we do it gladly knowing that we are in doing these things, doing the kinds of things that Jesus himself has done. And God, by his spirit, enables us to do these very things. He enables us to make sacrifices for people, enables us to give of our time and our resources, of our talents, because we know that this is a way for us to say, Thank you, Lord, for everything that you have done for us. So as we continue our trek toward the cross this holy week, we focus here today on these words of love, that God has loved us in Jesus Christ. And in response to that, we get to love other people. Let's pray. Lord, we know that loving is not an easy thing in many situations. It certainly wasn't easy for Jesus, your son. Help us, Lord, to, to love in extravagant and challenging ways so that we might reflect the great love that you have for each and every one of us. These things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for being with me today. God bless you.